What's up guys, it's Sky, and this is a dogfight that I recorded a couple days ago, and I really wanted to post it. So, I th figured I'd make it an episode of Fighter Plane Mastery, and I want to shout out Sphinx, who I've had a conversation with in the comment section of the last episode of Flight School. You mentioned that you find it tough to find your opponent in a dogfight, and hopefully this video is a good example for you. Now up to this point in episodes of Flight School, I've pretty much covered managing your own energy in a dogfight. And from this point on, I'm going to get more advanced. It's one thing to just try to follow your opponent and, you know, manage your own energy, but the best dogfighters out there are predicting your moves, and they're concerned with not only their own energy, but their opponent's energy as well, and they're actually baiting you to use up your energy to counter you. At least that's how I like to look at it, so let's get right into it, and one of the most important things in a negative dogfight is that you're using all three inputs, pitch, yaw, and roll. A lot of pilots are pretty good at pitching and yawing in a certain direction, but you need to constantly roll to keep slipping your opponent's aim. Even if you're trying to do a simple horizontal loop, like for instance the break that I showed you in the last episode of Flight School, you still want to roll just a little bit. Remember that most maneuvers require a very subtle roll input. You'll notice when I play this back that as soon as I start taking fire, I react with a quick barrel roll. And that's almost instinctual at this point. And then from that point I make a decision. I may barrel roll a little wider, or in this case, I turn toward my opponent. I'll play this back and show you what I do when I'm flying toward my opponent. I constantly bolt, roll and yaw back and forth left and right. And again, that just lets me slip his aim and also serves to disguise my next move a little bit. And again, in a negative dogfight, always use all three inputs, pitch, yaw, and roll, and direct those movements toward your opponent. Now one thing that's good is that I'm not close to the ground, so I can use my elevation to create airspeed and create this maneuver. And it's basically the break that I showed you in the last video. Now I've completed three quarters of a turn, and I'm going to switch toward my opponent. And I make a prediction, and I predict that my opponent is in a horizontal loop. At this point I switch and try to gain elevation again. And then I break again, and I'll find him. And the thing about predictions is that sometimes you're wrong, but that's okay. With experience, you'll be able to make better predictions. and. You'll find that most pilots have very limited movesets, even pilots that you think are pretty good. Now you see he's got to break off to try to go after our bomber, and this is not really unusual because 99% of dogfights I've seen last for a really long time, and pilots have learned that you'll score better if you go after bombers and attack planes. So the key is to learn how to predict and cut your opponent's maneuvers to kill fighter planes quickly. You really want to avoid just following them around and just reacting to what they're doing. And here my opponent makes the fatal mistake, puts on a break to try to turn tight. I read a horizontal loop and cut him with a low yo-yo. And he's exactly where I think he is. I'm going to read horizontal loop, start building my elevation again, and get a massive advantage on him. Now I'm not sure where he is, so I turn to the left and check to see if he's there, and he's not. So I use the rest of the elevation I have to turn hard to the right, and he switches away from me. And that's pretty much the end of the fight right there. And one of the most important things to flying is building a real comfort level with the controls. And that takes time. I remember when I first switched from PC to PS4, it felt like trying to pat my head and rub my belly at the same time. And then from there, it's really just about trial and error, learning what people do, and being able to stay connected not only with your own plane, but also with, with your opponent as well. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. I'll play the dogfight back in real time if you want to watch it. I'll see you in the next one. Feindlicher Bomber! Ich bin jetzt Flugzeug! Flugzeug in Sichtweite! We have lost Objective Apples. 
We have lost Objective Edward. Sie haben ein Flugzeug! 